hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you some changes i've done to obj exporter in mesh morpher so first of all i'm gonna select a metahuman head and go to tools and export mesh as obj here you'll see a totally new window where we have several options in this video we're gonna append additional meshes in our case the metahuman body we will select export welded mesh and leave the default uh, values. We will select the base uh, obj uh, file name so we can easily identify which is which. So we will write here base full body. Hit save. And now that uh, uh, the obj file is exported, we can go to ZBrush. We will work with ZBrush in this video, but you can work with whatever other software you are familiar with. I'm going to click import and select our uh, newly created obj file. I'm going to do some changes here that affect both uh, the head uh, skeletal mesh and the body. Uh, the skeletal mesh ends around here and the body starts the same uh, the same place, right? So I'm gonna do some sculpting here so we can easily identify the changes in Mesh Morpher and Unreal Engine. Now that uh, we've done some changes, we can go to export and just uh, name your uh, object file so you can easily identify it, right? I'm gonna Right here, instead uh, of base, I'm going to write more. Now we can go ahead and uh, import uh, these uh, obj files into Mesh Morpher. We go to Tools and Create from obj files. We select the base we just exported as base obj file, and the morphed obj file is the obj file exported from ZBrush. We have to rotate our obj files so they will face the same direction as our uh, our skeletal mesh right so we right here uh, 90 degrees on uh, x-axis and uh, 180 on y-axis as you can see uh, our sculpting is on the wrong side than what we sculpt in zbrush for that uh, to be fixed we have to write minus one or no x axis in scale option here I'll pick a new morph name test one uh, leave the threshold the multiplier uh, the default values and smooth iteration put zero now that everything is uh, selected uh, correctly click ok Gonna take a little bit for this uh, operation to be completed. Now that it's uh, completed, we can go ahead and select the body. We're gonna apply the same OBJ files to the body. And the same transformation. We will pick the same morph name, leave the threshold default and multiplier, uh, multiplier the same and smooth iterations 0. Now that we created uh, the morph target on both head and body, we can go ahead and enable the morph targets in our blueprint. To do that, we open the MetaHuman Blueprint and then Event Graph. At the end of ARKit Setup, we create a, a new event, Custom Event. Enable Morphs, we will name it for this uh, video, Enable Morphs. And now we can go ahead and uh, 
select a new node set morph target face for face we're doing this we're writing here test one is our morph name and value one duplicate this node and select the body component go to the construction script and call your newly created event enable morph this way the morph targets will be enabled in editor as well if you go to viewport you'll see that our morph target is enabled we have this seam with the shadow and i found a fix for it it seems that uh, there is uh, something with the metahumans uh, they are very complex and they have a lot of uh, things going on you can fix this seam by going uh, to your uh, body skeletal mesh open it and if uh, well, we go to uh, sections under uh, lod0 we have here recompute tangents none and if we select green and save and go back to your uh, uh, meta human blueprinting viewport you'll see that the problem is fixed so this is it for this video i hope uh, you learned something from it i hope you find it useful and i really hope uh, you find it uh, uh, interesting enough to to use it uh, in your workflow if you like the video don't forget to hit like uh, don't forget to let me know that you like the video so i can make more don't forget to subscribe so you will uh, receive uh, new updates for, from me new videos new tutorials uh, whatever other material i upload on youtube so yeah this is it and uh, see you around bye